Mountain kind of explores the human fascination with mountains, you know, why we're so drawn to them, why some of us will risk our lives to be among them, while other people, what pretty much everybody else thinks those people are crazy. You know, having spent a lot of time on Everest and seeing how that has changed and, and how that mountain has become commercialised, I think we've lost sight of what's important. I mean, a lot of the people that are turning up at Everest Base Camp have never even worn crampons before and, and want to be guided to the top of the highest mountain in the world in my opinion, for all the wrong reasons. I think there is a real, a growing culture of kind of arrogance and self-importance and this idea that, you know, I'm it's a bucket list thing, I'm going to put Everest on my CV and that's going to be good for my career. But it's about so much more than that for me. And mountains mean different things to different people and it depends on your appetite for risk and suffering really as to how much time you want to, or how close you want to get to them. The rewards are amazing if you can bear the suffering to be in some of these places um you know but they're very dangerous places and i think what mountains can teach us is is humility and and a sense of awe and wonder about the world